Hello, Scorpio. Hope you're doing well. Just cleansing the space. I'm going to do a quick reading for you today just to check in on your current energies, see what's going on. This is for anyone who has Scorpio in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio need to know right now for their highest good? Knowing their highest good. Scorpio need to know. Oh, Ace of Wands. Okay. What else can you tell me? I think there was a high priestess that tried to come out. Four of Swords. Oop. I dropped it. Eight of Wands. Page of Swords and Ten of Wands. Okay, so this basically looks like there's been a period of no action and then some kind of new idea looks like a you got this idea for maybe a new project or I don't know something is inspiring you to take action my for some reason includes some kind of heaviness within the situation but I do see action being taken to even if it's just creating like a to-do list in order to move forward we'll say oh it's the hermit and the nine of pentacles so you probably have been in this hermit mode maybe or you need to go into hermit mode and really focus on your own abundance, your self-abundance, taking care of yourself. Um, just doing what you need to do in order to bring that stability and abundance in your life whether that's taking a course to better a skill or working towards a degree or simply just you know watching youtube uh, videos and learning how to do something or just taking care of yourself there's just this act of um of not making any moves and just really focusing on yourself. Ace of Wands, what can you tell me about this, this inspiration? This new idea. A lot of options. What else can you tell me about it? So this may be something that you've been working tirelessly on, maybe for quite some time, even though there might've been a break or whatever, that it still kind of gives me this energy that you've been working toward this for quite some time because the nine of wands is that type of energy where you're exhausted but you're still standing you know like you're still you're still showing up um seven of cups
Cups can be confusion. So maybe, yeah, that's what I was thinking. It might be more of you've been confused. You didn't know which direction to take in regards to this situation that you've been working towards. Um, and it's been really hindering any progress. But I feel like, you know, with the Ace of Wands here, that you're getting that breakthrough. Something is starting to make sense. You're coming out of this confusion, the, the Nine of Wands, the Devil Energy, where things are starting to clear up for you. And you're able to really release this heaviness and burden that you've you've held on to for quite some time and the page of swords it's really a an energy of just that taking those first steps towards this new um this new path that you're going to take in order to reach these goals Um, Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands movement. Yeah, see more, more fast movement. So I think it's just a matter of just taking action once you've, you've gotten some clarity. I'm wondering what... What is going to help bring this clarity in for you? I think that's the question I really wanted. Oh gosh. The world, two of pentacles, four of wands, and the nine of swords. Okay, that doesn't really, it's still kind of vague. It's there's obviously there's the imbalance here there's a completion of something whether it's let me just pull a card on what is the world about what is this completion about looks like a relationship but it doesn't have to be um, there's just some kind of like completion of a heartache with somebody who wasn't giving as much as you were. You know, this is equal give and take, but with the Page of Pentacles, this is somebody who does the bare minimum. So I don't know if that is a relationship that was in your life that could be, that could have been holding you back or is holding you back. It could even be, um, like a business partner or a friend, like somebody is not carrying their weight. If that makes any sense. Maybe even, you know, the lack of support of family and friends. I don't know. There's some kind of completion coming in in regards to this. And I think once you realize that we we only have ourselves, you know, at the end of the day, and I think the sooner that we realize that we, you know, even though we want to depend on other people, at the end of the day, it's just, you know, we can only depend on ourselves. So I think it's just a matter of learning that and really taking action um, with that kind of mindset. 
So I hope this brought some clarity and guidance for you, Scorpio, and I'll see you in the next one. Love ya.